So let's get into our first exercise and get you guys and girls uh, typing um, and writing some code. So here is our first exercise, and it is to remove the column that only contains missing values. Okay. Remove the column that only contains missing values. It's not a trick question. Um, so I will give you just a few minutes for this. Um, and as I said, if you already know the answer, you know, help your neighbor if they're struggling. But remove the column that only contains missing values. I'll be wandering around, and then uh, we'll, I'll be back up front in a few minutes. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and go through this one. So there are, uh, there's one way you could have done this that you don't really need to know what column has missing values, but let's assume you care what you're dropping. So what was the column that only contains missing values? County name. All right. How did you know it was only containing missing values? How about? Right, great, great, great. So I'll try always to repeat what anyone says because I know you can't hear behind the person. So he uh, noted that the shape is 91,741 rows. He also noted that the number of missing values in that column is 91,741. And that's the only column with all missing values. So that's the only column to be dropped, okay? So what is one data frame method we can use to drop a column? Drop. All right. Um, and we're going to pass it county name as a string. What are the two parameters I want to specify? Axis. axis. Okay. And what is the axis? You can either use axis equals one or axis equals columns. It changed, you know, maybe a year or two ago that you can now name your axes in, I think, every function either as. 0, 1, or uh, I think index columns, or maybe rows columns, but I think it's index columns. Anyway, you have to specify the axis. And then what is one more argument that I need to specify? In place. In place. All right. Thank you. So in place equals true. Now, uh, why do I need to say in place equals true? Right. It doesn't, uh, if, if you don't say in place equals true. The default is in place equals false, and it just kind of does the operation, shows you the result, and throws it away. So in place equals false is kind of like doing this, OK? Did anyone just do this? Yeah, it's, it's fine. And I, as far as I read, I don't think it's actually more or less memory efficient or whatever. But this is kind of a little bit more Pythonic, maybe. Um, in place equals true, okay? So um, after we do this, and remember, you can ask questions at any time. So if you're like, what does that mean? Let me know, and I'll try to be watching. So you should check your work and check that there's now a, one less column missing, or sorry, one fewer column there. And you could even check the columns attribute to see that it's gone, and it is indeed gone. Um, what was another method we could have used uh, to do this task? Uh, or all the way in the back. Uh, drop, NA. drop NA. And that's, you know, a little uh, nicer in the sense that um, you're just saying, I want to drop um, all columns which are missing, uh, which of which all its values are missing. Okay? So that would have worked. Um, but we've already dropped it, so there's, it won't do anything. I mean, it won't change anything, um, but you can, well, it won't do anything. Um, all right, so that's the end of that exercise. That was a, what I would consider an easier one in comparison to the rest, the exercises today. So you can get a gauge of how this is going to be. Um, in terms of the lessons, uh, and I'll go back to that screen in a moment, but um, I've kind of pre-written, so I don't have to type it right now, uh, what my lessons are for each 
a little exercise. And what are my lessons for this one? Number one, pay attention to default arguments. Um, for instance, you need to change the axis argument. You, you need to change the in place argument. Otherwise, you would not have done what you wanted to do. You should check your work uh, to see if what you think you meant to do actually happened. And there's more than one way to do everything in pandas. And you just should be not should be. Uh, I guess you have to get comfortable with that idea that there's not just one right way to do everything. There's almost always multiple ways to do everything, which is kind of maddening at times with pandas, but it is kind of the way it is. Okay. All right. Any questions about that exercise before we go on to the next one? Right, that's fine. He was asking if you can just use the del, uh, del um, key, keyword statement. I don't know. If you can just use del, like uh, ri bracket, um, yeah, and then column name. Um, you could do that. That's fine. Um, there's, it's a little bit less pandas-esque. It's not pandas, so it will work but I always prefer in pandas to use pandas operations. So that, that's really it. Uh, great question. Other questions? Okay. <laughs>